Good morning and welcome to Strong and Balanced. Uh, my name is Pat Agostino. I'm a physical therapist here with PeopleFit. Um, if you haven't done this type of class before, always consult your doctor or physical therapist prior to beginning any new exercise routine. Uh, and with that, let's get started. I'm going to start with a nice gentle warm up. Um, so remember, feet are at least hips width apart, knees are soft. We're going to do some nice, gentle neck circles in one direction. If it bothers the neck, just pull the head up off the shoulders and do slightly smaller circles. And only do the things that you know you're capable of doing in that. Do not hurt. And that may change day to day. And let's rotate the other direction. Hope everyone had a good weekend. Nice Patriots victory with a new quarterback. Life is good. Great. Let's do some nice arm circles. <clears throat> And let's rotate the opposite direction. And we're going to come forward and back. If you want to add a little bit of a step back, that's perfectly fine. Dropping your back knee as far as you're comfortable for five, four, Three, two, and one. Feet a little wider this time. Knees are bent. Bottom is up. Chest is up. And we're going to rotate side to side. Great, and come on back up. All right, and from here, we're just gonna march in place for a minute. High, nice high knees. And you can always do these exercises by a countertop, a wall, uh, in case you need it uh, for balance or safety-wise, or in front of a sink is a nice place to do these exercises. All right, perfect. Feet about hips width apart, toes pointing forward. Come back onto your heels and up onto your toes. Heels and toes. The only thing that we're gonna need for today is you, a glass of water, possibly a weight or a can of soup. Great. Try to grip with those toes, grabbing the ground. And 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great. Hand out to the side, opposite hand on your hip. What I want you to do now is bring your feet together, slide this opposite foot back two inches, and now let's go out to the side. So I know in the video it looks like I'm going back, but I'm not really. The foot is just behind the other foot and you're going directly out to the side. Sometimes just by shifting that foot back an inch or two, you may feel it back in here a little bit more. And that's what we're shooting for. Nothing else is moving and this knee is nice and soft. Good. For five, four, three, two, and one. We do the same thing. Opposite arm out, opposite foot back a couple of inches, and then directly out to the side. You may want to take a peek at your toes. Some of you will start doing this, and your toes coming up to the side. I want your toe pointing straight ahead. You can do it without bringing your foot back down to the ground, even better. In five, Four, three, two, and one. And let's get into one of three balance positions. Feet together, heel to the inside of your big toe, or one foot in front of the other. You find what's comfortable for you today. 
And as a warm up, we'll just do a nice head turn left and right. Three and four, three, two, and one. Let's switch feet. And same exact thing. Knees are soft, belly buttons tight. Remember, allow your hips to move. That's going to help you to catch yourself and turn the head left and right. Really scan the room. Sometimes people end up moving their head, but they're really locking their eyes on one object. You want to just continue to move that head and the eyes also. In three, two, and one. Great. Hands on your hips. Let's step forward onto one foot. Forward knee is bent. Back leg, your knee is behind the front knee. If you had a countertop to hold on to, great. Otherwise, we're just going to kick up and down, really trying to work that hamstring muscle. Again, if it bothers your knee, then you can turn your toe in or out for this one. But you'll get much more out of it if you keep your front knee slightly bent. I know as you do the exercise, sometimes it wants to straighten out on you. In five, four, three, two, and one. Let's switch to the other side. Tap your toe behind you and let's kick on up and down. In eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. All right, let's get back into your balanced position. Let's bring your hands up, clasp them together. Thumbs are up in the air. I want you to look at your left thumbnail. And as you're looking at that left thumbnail, we're just going to do a little rotating left and right. You start losing your balance, I want you to stop and reset yourself and then continue. Or else the last thing you see will be that thumb as you're heading towards the abyss. Good. In three, two, and one. Great. Let's switch feet. We're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Give the right thumb some loving. Let's look at that right thumbnail. Remember, keep your knees bent. Try to grip that ground with those feet. In five, four, three, two, And one, very nice job. Okay, from here we're gonna go toes slightly out, and let's come up onto the toes and back on the heels. Toes and heels. When you come back on the heels and you're lifting those toes up, remember, try not to stick out your bottom. Some of you will have trouble getting the toes completely off the ground, that's fine. You're still working those muscles. And four. Three, two, and one. Excellent. So from here, let's just stretch out those calf muscles. So let's plant that back foot on the ground. Toe is ever so slightly in. A nice long step forward with the front foot. Hands on your hips for hand on the wall. 
belly button's tight, and let's gently bend that front knee, holding that stretch. Once that muscle eases up a little bit, even the front hip you may have feel a little bit, bend the knee a little bit more, get deeper into that stretch. You should be warmed up now. But make sure to keep that back heel right on the ground. Okay, and let's switch to the other side, please. Same exact positions. Good, 10 more seconds. Great, okay, so we're just gonna work a little grapevine here. So we're gonna have all three or four feet of space, either forward or to the side in your room, whatever you have available to you. And we're gonna start off with this outside foot stepping over the top of the other foot. Now, if that's too much, leave a little space between them. Otherwise, we're gonna step right in front, and then we'll step over to the side. Then I want you to step behind, and step over the top, and step behind, and step. Good, we're gonna go back the opposite direction, over the top and pause, in step, behind, in step, over the top, in step, behind, and step. Great, one more. Let's go back over the top, Step, behind, step, over the top, step, behind, and step. Let's go back over the top, we're heading back in the other direction, and step, foot behind, and step. Over the top, and step, behind, and step. Okay, so now we're going to walk the tightrope. So either one foot in front of the other, or if you'd like to have a little space between your feet because it's easier, that's perfectly fine. So let's step forward, step forward. Step forward, and step forward, and now let's go back, 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 and back. If you want to add some head turns left and right, that's absolutely fine. I'm gonna, I'll instruct you for that. If it's a challenge the way it is, just continue to do it. Uh, but we got to get into leaf peeping mode. So you're going to have to look left and right to see all the beautiful leaves. So what we're going to do is step forward, look left. Step forward, look all the way right. Step forward, look left. Step forward and look right. Let's go backwards. And look left, backwards, and look right, backwards, and left, backwards, and right. Let's go forward again, look left, 
Forward and look right. Forward and left. Forward and right. Go back, turn left. Back, turn right. Back, left. And back, right. Good. All right. Hand out to the side. Opposite hand on your hip. Let's bring that knee up and down. Or you can do some small little circles. Okay. Remember, plant leg is slightly bent or just knee up and down. Either way. In five, four, three, two, and one. Let's switch to the other side. Play the leg nice and soft. Let's bring that knee up and down. You guys are doing great. Four little circles if you prefer. Circles with the whole leg and not just with the ankle, okay? Whole leg. And they can be nice small circles, that's fine. For five, four, three, two, and one. Great. Let's stretch out these abductor muscles. So we're going to bring your feet nice and wide. Again, if I had a table or a back of a chair to hold on to, great. And you're just going to gently wiggle those feet out. My knees are unlocked, so they're slightly bent. And that's all you're going to do is take your hands on your hips or on a table and you can gently come forward, keeping an arch in your back. If you want to slide your hands down towards your knees, fantastic. But I want to keep my chest up. For those of you who are really flexible, if you'd like to reach down towards the floor without rounding your back, even better. And let's just breathe into the stretch. We're going to use a nice exhale to relax into the stretch. I know it's not overly comfortable, but the stretch should be felt in the groin or maybe the back of the hamstrings. And four nice deep breaths for me, please. Don't work through any back pain. Good, one more nice deep breath. And then I want you to gently wiggle those feet coming back up into standing. And then I want you to march in place and breathe, breathe, breathe. Get all the blood back where it belongs. Excellent, okay. So if you want to grab yourself a glass of water um, and maybe we will grab a weight and we'll do a few more exercises. All right, see people trickling back. We're going to start off uh, with a bent over row. Weight is going to be in your left hand. Your right foot is going to step forward and is going to be bent. Hand on your knee, stick your bottom out, and we're going to bring the elbow up and back, sliding right by your side. Keeping that shoulder down away from your ear. Good. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's switch to the other side. Same exact exercise. 
and breathe. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice job. So we're gonna do some squats now. Um, if your knees bother you, we're gonna go nice and easy. But you can actually hold your weight like this. Your toes are gonna to be pointing slightly out for this exercise. And what I want you to do is stick your bottom out slightly, a little bit of weight on your back heels, and you're going to bring the weight down towards the floor without rounding the back, okay? We want to keep a little arch in your back, sticking your bottom out, trying to work these muscles. So head and chest are up. Good. Don't work through any knee pain. Just go down a little less, uh, a little less towards the floor if it's bothering your knees. Good, for five, four, three, two, and one. Weight into one hand, let's get into your balance position, elbows slightly inside your body, and we're gonna do a little bicep curl, curling up and down. Good. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's switch feet and switch hands. And we do a bicep curl on this opposite side. In five, four, Three, two, and one. Let's switch feet and switch hands. We're gonna bring the weight onto your shoulder, elbow slightly inside your body. Now, if you have shoulder problems on that side, you can continue to bicep curl. Otherwise, we're gonna push up towards the ceiling. Nice, soft knees, good posture, excellent. In five, four, three, two, and one. Let's switch feet and switch hands. Do the same thing on this opposite side. Good. For four, three, two, and one, let's switch feet and switch hands. Again, if your shoulders bother you, maybe we do this one just without the weight, just for range of motion. Um, you can either try a thumb up position or palm against your side, whatever is more comfortable for your shoulder. Good, and don't work through any shoulder pain as you come out and down, no higher than the height of your shoulder. That's good for five, four, Three, two, and one. We'll do the same thing on the opposite side. And let's come on up and back. Good. For five, four, three, two, and one, you're gonna grab the end of your can or your weight. Knees are gonna be soft, and we're just gonna do a little press out and back. Out and back. Belly button's tight. Your lower back bothers you, be careful with this one. Out and back. For five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice job. If your shoulders bother, you can drop your weights, but otherwise we're now gonna put the weight behind the back, feet a little wider, stir them up. You're gonna push back, squeezing the shoulder blades together, and then return. Remember, you don't wanna crank your neck, so 
Pull your head up off your shoulders. Good. Even if you bring your head down just an inch or two, sometimes that takes pressure off your neck. But you push back and return. One, two, so a nice little two second hold. For five, four, three, two, and one. Let's take your weight and you're gonna put it on the floor about six inches in front of you. And what I want you to do from here is just see if you can do some shifting side to side, listening to the weight on the outside border till it gets the outside border of one foot. In fact, you might wanna reach your arm out like you're trying to stretch in that direction. Now I want you to stay over here as you just gently tap your toe on the weight and then the floor. Tap your weight and return. For those of you looking for a little bit more of a quad workout for this, you can actually land in front of the weight with your heel. Just don't catch it on the way back. Good. And you do that by bending this back knee, or you can tap and return. You're tapping that weight like you're tapping a uh, uh, soft boiled egg. We don't want to crack it, right? Just nice and gentle. Good. Four, heel over for five, four, three, two, and one. Let's shift to the other side. Bend this knee, this plant leg, reach, reach, reach. And let's touch and return, touch and return. Or, like I said, you can land with your heel over the weight, doing a little half squat on this back leg. And nice slow for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. That's excellent. All right. We're going to stretch out your upper body. If you can push your weight away from you just so you don't trip on it, that would be great. Or you can pick it up and put it someplace. But we're just going to start by putting your hand on your opposite shoulder. Drop your shoulder down, grab onto your elbow and pull it towards your chest. And then this direction here, where your hand is hanging, I want you to turn leading with your head and you're gonna do a little twist to look behind you, okay? Good, and we're gonna hold it there. Remember, head is up off the shoulders. And come back to the middle. Let's go to the opposite side. Gently pull that arm towards the shoulder. You can do it with the hand straight if you like, whatever you're comfortable with. Head up off the shoulders, knees are soft. Rotate around, looking to the other side. And come back to the middle and give yourself a round of applause. Excellent work to all of you. I hope you have a great start to your week. Take care.